Now, in order to reduce the economic hardship in the country, President Bolatinobu has been advised to create palliative markets across the country where food items would be subsidized for the citizenry. A leader of Henry Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah Ayodele, gave this advice while speaking with journalists on the sidelines of the second edition of his palliative market to commemorate his 21-day annual Thanksgiving program, which began on the 29th of January. Plus, the his correspondent, Love Ikuku Oyedoko, who covered the event and tell us more in this report. He is the president of all presidents. The act is his and his fullness thereof. Is the cathedral opening and grand finale of the Primate Ayodele's 2024 annual Thanksgiving, tagged 21 days of unlimited praise? Second in a series, the event was electrifying as members sing praises and dance unto God. This was followed by the grand finale proper, where the mother of all empowerments took place through a palliative market. It was indeed a massive philanthropic program. <laughs> Just like the first edition, prices of food items were crushed ridiculously in order to reduce the effect of economic hardship on the people. A bag of rice was sold for 20,000 naira, beans for 2,000 naira, tubers of yam went for 1,500 naira, semovita 1,500, gari 3,000 naira. A carton of noodles sold for 1,500 naira, while a bag of wheat was sold for 2,000 naira, and many more. As usual, Primate Ayodele presented five exotic cars as gift to church members and a journalist, Wale Lawal, an editor with City People magazine, for their dedication over the years. He also presented checks worth 2 million naira to support projects of other boarding churches. In addition, Primate Ayodele presented scholarships Wag and jump forms to use, empowered widows in his church, give out appliances including refrigerators, hair dryers, and medical equipment to his members. <laughs> Speaking with journalists, Primate Ayodele describes the palliative market as a way to relieve Nigerians from the burden of the economic hardship. The Inri Evangelical Spiritual Church leader was critical about the manner and ways government's palliative is being handled. He holds strongly that if it's not done the right way, the hardship will remain. People are in case, police, army, content, any, 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 anybody, they are all in case. And in order to check the salacy, the standard of reading is said to be better than the And have a committee. Don't say uh, this person. It's not a, a set of committee of government. Primate Ayodele also hinted at building a bakery to crush a looming further rake in prices of bread. Honestly, see, flour is scarce. You see, bread of 1,000. That's not the reason I want to have a bakery. You see, I'm going to go on some of the bread of 17. I will reduce the price of bread in my own in my own little way. The palliative market saw several beneficiaries, including church members, community members, police officers, security operatives, journalists, and even 
Muslims smiling home with various items. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.